Saint Philippe, Reunion Island, January 28th. Batsare Cyclone. The Morikian tanker Tresta Star launch a May Day called, facing a storm with 55 knots wind and waves of 6 meters. The French Local Monitoring and Rescue Center, cross South Indian Ocean, take in charge the problem and send the patrol vessel Osiris 2 to assist the Tresta Star. But the tanker keeps drifting and grounds close to Tremblet, the southeast part of the island. 32 rescuers are sent in the night to save the life of the 11 seamen. Weather conditions are extremely difficult and the rescue, using a zipline, very complex. Thanks to this action, all seamen are safe. It is now time to save the ocean. The vessel MCS Lini and AHTS Vasilius arrive quickly to pump out the fuel tanks with the help of helicopters. A human and ecological catastrophe has been avoided. This is not the first time Indian Ocean faces maritime disasters with critical impact for the environment, in fact this area has to cope with 70% of the world disasters. But why? Indian Ocean is one of the major routes for maritime transport. Increase in the trade volume, particularly of energy supply by tankers, has raised significantly the numbers of disasters. In the case of Tresta Star, the departure conditions of the ship was already fuzzy. It could have been worse but the situation was been handled perfectly. The MV Wakashio didn't have the same chance. The ship was carrying 3,800 tons of fuel oil and 200 tons of diesel when a crack in the hull led to an oil leak. With toxic consequences for the ocean. Same for the MV Express Pearl and its 25 tons of nitric acid, plastics, caustic soda, lubricants, and other chemicals which were released in the ocean after the vessel caught fire around Sri Lanka's coast. France has a strong capacity and resilience to deal with maritime with maritime issues in its territorial water and economic exclusive zone. This kind of organization needs to be developed by more countries to avoid other maritime catastrophe, and try to save the oceans.